copy which as you see is pretty much falling apart because I've been using it for almost 50 years. Well while I was playing the the violin music it occurred to me that a lot of the violin pieces are similar or kind of related to the cello ones because he wrote them around the same period of time early 1720s. <laughs> So then I thought, whoa, wouldn't it be cool if we could mix and match and put them together? Now the, the cello ones are called suites, the violin ones are called sonatas and partitas. So I thought, well, maybe I could mix a violin one with a cello one, which is what I just played, and I would call it re-sweetened. just played a piece for Lucy, the, the choreographer, um, and she's the head of this company, Bowen Macaulay Dancers, and she had taken these two different pieces by the same composer, and she combined them, and it was a, a work called Ozone. Yvonne uh, approached me about the project of doing this sort of mashup of Bach and transposing uh, a violin, is it a sonata? Yeah. Violin sonata. Um, to cello and you know lowering it an octave and playing it and then going right into um, the solo cello suite um, and it's it's a beautiful thing and she gave me the score talking to Yvonne and we have a history we've worked together many different times now so I thought it was an interesting project. So Yvonne's an extraordinary cellist she lives in Arlington where I live and every project we've done we've sort of found, a, um, we talk about music in a similar way, Yvonne, would you say? We got a, and I love the cello. I grew up playing cello, um, was not very good at it, but played it for, for many years, and so I have maybe a little greater appreciation for the instrument, if, uh, as opposed to someone who hadn't played the cello. Love the sound of it. Um, Yvonne's also very good with tempo, which is important for dancers, because um, some musicians really like to vary their interpretation of music each and every performance, and that's wonderful and beautiful, but it really doesn't work when you put dance with it, because we need um, a pretty you know, accurate tempo each time, or it throws us off. On stage, two couples, they're holding on to each other, and then the first two sixes, they don't move. Um, and the lighting will come up. And you, How do I know they're ready? They're gonna, the ladies will step onto the guys' toes. On their feet, right? Yep, yeah. and, and they take their, they kind of hunch a little bit, don't, and they are ready. One, two, three, go. Good. Can you somehow like duplicate something like, or I don't know if you need to hit, the, I think it's not enough time to hit the deck, but let go of her, I don't know if you, and then can you catch her? Yeah, but I think you need to like, I think it needs to be dust in something like this chunk. So, and we got it, and then it'll have to be perfect timing probably on the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's gotta be hard, it's new. Right. It's hard because your knee. Like, yeah. there are no rules yet, they really. Get to like lunge and flip back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you know the main thing is we got to get back to her. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, five, six, one. Yeah, yeah. The music of Bach. I haven't done a Bach piece in a long time, um, but I'm particularly fond of Bach on cello. 
and the music has a an energy to it. It's um, it has a sort of a race going on, and the dancers almost sometimes get ahead of it, even though we say, "Oh, it's so fast." So the music's really pushing us. It's a driving force, um, an inspiration for the piece. Yo-Yo had done something like that several years ago. He collaborated with the Mark Morris dancers. And this C major cello suite that I used to end my piece, uh, Mark Morris choreographed it and he said it sounded to him like people falling downstairs, this And I thought, oh, that's awful. To me, that's not falling downstairs at all. To me, it's, it's Bach saying, this is this gorgeous scale. What could be simpler than a C major scale? And he created this whole sound world out of that. And it's got these gorgeous sounds like an organ playing in a cathedral or something. So to me, that whole image has always been wrong. And so I thought, well, maybe this would be a really interesting chance to see if we could change that image and combine some new music. And so that's how the project got going. Thank you. 